Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Serlinda Pratiwi. Today I want a presentation and introduction to cryptography with Python. I'm from Uin Wali Songo, Semarang. So, what is cryptography? Definition of cryptography. Cryptography is the practice and study of techniques for securing communication and information for adversaries. It involves creating, writing, or generate codes that allow information to be kept secret. The core principle of cryptography include confidentiality, data integrity, authentication, and non-repudiation. Terminology in cryptography. The first one is plain text. Plain text is the original text that needs to be encrypted. So we have this formula. E K of P equal to C. E is encryption. K is key, B is a uh, plain text, C is ciphertext. Ciphertext is the text that has been encrypted. Key is information used in encryption and decryption process. Encryption is the process of converting plain text to ciphertext. So we have this one, the formula. Decryption is the process of converting cy ciphertext back to in into plain text. So we got the formula like this. Illustration will chart showing the encryption and decryption process between Alice and Bob. Alice want to send message about plain text and then get encryption to Bob and then Bob get ciphertext. Bob should be decryption ciphertext to plain text. So Bob know what Alice sent to Bob. And then the hacker want to know what a uh, conversation between Alice and Bob. So we know hacker should know the key and algorithm. Cesa cipher. Definition of Cesa cipher. The Cesa cipher is one of the simplest and most widely known encryption techniques. It is a type of substitution cipher where each letter in the plain text is sift a certain number of place down or up in the alphabet. So we got this formula. C. C equal to E. P of K equal to P plus K modulo 26. P is plain text plus K. K is the key modulo 26. Why we choose modulo 26? Because look at the table here, alphabet from A to the Z. A is equal to 0 and Z equal to 25. So the, we should write um, modulo 26. P equal to D. D of C equal to C minus K modulo 26. P is plain text. D is de decryption. C is ciphertext. So P equal to ciphertext minus key modulo 26. Historical context of Caesar cipher. Origin. The Caesar cipher, also known as the Caesar shift, is named after Julius Caesar, who used it in his private correspondence. Julius Caesar was Roman's military general and statesman who played a critical role in the even leading to the demise of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire. So example historical use, it can be used in context where simple obfusc obfuscation is needed, such as uh, in children puzzle or games where security is not a major concern. So like this, game. Cryptanalysis of the Caesar cipher. Cryptanalysis of the Caesar cipher involves determining the C value used and crypt the plain text. The Caesar cipher is substitution cipher where each letter in the plain text is sift by fixed number of position in the alphabet. Because there are only 25 possible sifts, it is vulnerable to brute force attack, where attacker tries all possible SIP until the correct one is found. Additionally, frequency analysis can be used to break cipher by comparing the frequency of letter in the cipher text to the accepted frequency in the language of the pen text. So look at the, the here, the picture between Alice, Bob, and then there is have a Mallory. Alice in uh, representing uh, Julius Caesar, and Bob is representing the general. So Alice write the plain text and to using a shift of three and send it to Bob here. And Bob and Bob get the message from the Alice with the key and algorithm. And here Mallory intercepts the message but cannot understand it without knowing the shift value. Caesar cipher. So example of Caesar cipher, the first we should, we know that sifting value is three. 
what is safe value? Safe value is a uh, key. And plain text is hello. So we know that the cipher text is cool. We want to check is it correct answer or um, false answer. So we know that um, formula like this, and then we know that the uh, we should uh, looking for the H, H, and with the formula. So plain text plus key modulo 26. Plain text of H is the value seven. Seven key is three. Yeah, modulo 27, 26. So 7 plus 3 is 10. Modulo 26 is 10. So we know that 10 is K. So H is K. So we, we want to look for E. E here, E the value of E is 4 uh, plus K is 3 here. Modulo 26. 4 plus 3 is 7 modulo 26. Modulo 26 of 7 is 7. So we know that 7 is H. So E equal to H. And we want to look in L. L uh, the value of L here is 11. 11 plus C value, 3 modulo 26. 11 plus 3 is 14 modulo 26. Is 14. 14 is O. So L equal to O. And we were looking for O. O is the value of O is uh, 14 plus C value 3 modulo 26. 14 plus 3 is 17 modulo 26 is 17. 17 is R. So O equal to R. In implementing CESA cipher in Python, so I already make the programming of Python here. The text uh, hello and then shift is 3. And we want to looking and we want to answer this this one the pro with programming right so the answer is cool so the answer python with a manual is same cool yeah. heal cipher definition of heal cipher the heal cipher is polygraphic substitution cipher based on linear algebra it uses matrix multiplication to encrypt plain text event by lester as heal in 1929 it was on the first cyphers to use more than three symbols in encryption. How it works? The first one, we should choose a key matrix, a square matrix end to end with an inverse consisting of numbers. So for example, here, key matrix is two times two. It equal to three, three, two, five. The second one, we should convert plain text to factor, representing the plain text as a factor of number A equal to zero until Z equal to 25. Group plain text letter is the blocks matching the size of the key matrix. So for here, for example, the plain text is high. High is H and I. We know that the value of H is seven and the value of I is eight. So we get the factors is seven and eight. So we have the formula like this: cipher text factor is key matrix times two plain text factor modulo twenty six because the alphabet is modulo twenty six. Historical context of Hill cipher. Origin: The Hill cipher was invented by American mathematician Lester S. Hill in 1929. It was one of the first polygraphic cipher, meaning it's operated on blocks of letter than individual letter, make it more complex and secure earlier cipher. Example of historical use: While specific historical communication using the Hill cipher are not as well documented as those of the CESA cipher. I was the sign of news and very secure communication application in early 20th century. It represents an important step in the evolution to cryptographic methods, moving towards more mathematically rigorous approach to encryption. So educational tools is Purpose to teach linear algebra and cryptography concept. Cryptanalysis of the Hill cipher. Cryptanalysis of the Hill cipher involves breaking the encryption by exploiting the mathematical properties of the cipher. The Hill cipher uses matrix multiplication to encrypt blocks of text. To decrypt the, max, the message, the inverse of the key matrix is needed. If an attacker can obtain enough plain text ciphertext pairs, they can set up the uh, system of linear equation that when solved with all the key matrix. So we uh, look at the picture here, Alice, Bob, and Mallory. 
Alice, uh, for example, Alice, a um, military officer. Bob is um, another officer. And Mallory here is an FS Dorper. So Alice writes a plain text message and uses uh, 2 times 2 key metrics to encrypt it. And the encrypt message is then sent to the bot, who uses the inverse of the key metrics to decrypt the message. Memory intercepts the encrypted message but cannot decrypt because without the key metrics. So we want to implement thing, how uh, hill server in the Python. I already make the program like this. And the key is equal to 3, 3 to 5, message equal to hi. We want to looking ciphertext of hill cipher. So in the Python, we have the result is dc. And then we want to um, count manuality. How? Like this. Key matrix is like this, and plain text is like this. So we want to uh, encryption, we have this formula like this. So key matrix times two plain text. So uh, like this, it times two like this, plain text, right? Equals to 45 and 54. We know that uh, 45 modulo 26 is 19 and 54 modulo 26 is 2. So we want to look at uh, the value of 19 is T. And the value of 2 is C. So the cybertext is DC. Is it correct? Because the program and manual are same. Conclusion. Summary of the main concept discussed. The exploration of cryptographic techniques such as the CISA cipher and Hill cipher highlights the fundamental principle of secure communication. This cipher demonstrates the evolution of cryptography from simple substitution method to more complex algebraic system. Understanding this concept is crucial as they form the foundation of modern encrypt techniques used to protect data in our digital age. Looking ahead, advancements such as quantum cryptography and homomorphic encryption promise to en enhance security further, addressing emerging challenge in a world increasingly reliant on secure digital interaction. Purpose we learn in cryptography is to visually reinforce the concept of secure communication and the role of cryptography in ensuring that message remain confident and protect for from unauthorized access. Thank you so much for your listening. This is my presentation. I hope you like it. And Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.